So the postal system benefits from some very strong assets, uh, such as its geographical reach, its affordability, and its institutional anchoring. But it also faces uh, some significant challenges, um, mainly in the form of infrastructure, physical infrastructure and digital infrastructure. And the world is progressing very quickly and the postal system really needs to accelerate its development in that regard. And for that, it has to work with all the various actors uh, involved in trade facilitation, including existing institutions, but also the private sector. And I think by bringing these institutions and private sector together, we can develop some very interesting new uh, applications and bring the, the postal system to a level which is in line with the private sector. Um, to give you an example, uh, the Global Alliance for Trade Facilitation has been uh, working in many, for many years in Cambodia, where we have established some key digital connectivity between the postal system and customs to be able to help SMEs facilitate the process of exporting their goods from Cambodia to the rest of the world. And I think we can replicate this now in many different countries.